hello my chariots welcome back to my channel we have another pick a card reading today and today's reading is going to be uh, a third party uh, reading uh, so if your person is not involved with someone else then this reading is not for you uh, so this was requested and it's been on my list to do so that's the reading that I chose to do today. Uh, I just want to say hello and welcome all my new viewers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I thank everyone for the continued support, my viewers that are constantly coming back, and for my new ones as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, like and share my videos if you can. And don't forget to turn on that notification, that bell uh, icon to let you know when I am posting uh, the latest material that I have. Uh, my email is down in the description box below. Should you be interested in private readings, you can send me an email and I will send you all the information uh, regarding private readings. So let's get started regarding this. Again, this is a third party situation, a third party reading. Uh, this reading is between your person and the third party, okay? So we have three piles today. Pile one, you are the oyster. And with the oyster, is this beautiful sphere of orange calcite i love this this is very pretty so that is your crystal for today okay pile two you are the owl okay and with the owl comes the beautiful moonstone sphere right i love the sphere crystals but i i should buy something to hold them down because i put them down and they're rolling away so i don't use them that often but i was in the mood to use them today and pile three you are the rabbit all right the rabbit energy so you have the beautiful smoky quartz and there's definitely some beautiful specks in this one. Um, and it has a little dent, but still, uh, it's a favorite as mine as well. So my chariots, you know the drill, do what you need to do, or you can jump right to your pile if you already know. Um, if you're drawn to more than one, that's fine, that means there's messages in the other piles that you may need to hear. And if none of this resonates with you, that's fine too. You can just kindly back out and move on to other readings that I have posted or to the other wonderful readers that are out there because there are so many beautiful ones that are able to provide this service. So let's get started and I will see you at your reading. Okay, pile one, you picked the beautiful oyster card with this lovely orange calcite that I'm going to place over here. Uh, and we will get started with your reading. Let's just make sure that doesn't fall. All right, let me just do a quick sage. So while I'm getting ready, I just want you to take a deep breath and give yourself just one quiet second to think of your person while I lay the cards out, okay? And what I'm going to do is I am going to do two piles. Uh, I am going to do a pile of your person and you and a pile of your person and the third party that they're involved with, okay? And then we will take a look at the cards and see what we have. 
and uh, I will close out the reading with intentions what your person is going to do regarding um, each connection okay so let's get started this is the third party reading for pile one please spirit what can you tell us what can we know at this time this is for pile one regarding their person and the third party situation so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a card regarding your person and the energy that they feel towards you and then a card for the energy that they are feeling towards the third party okay sometimes this is called the uh karmic situation all right so let's get a card for you and your person the energy that they're feeling currently for you pile one and then the energy that they're currently feeling for the third party all right so the energy that they're currently feeling right now for you pile one is building blocks okay card number 28 all right and then the energy that they're feeling with their person is fork in the road okay card number 13 sorry for the glare all right so let's take a look now so i'm going to use two decks i'm going to use the tarot de la nuit for you and your person and then i'm going to use the everyday witch for your person and the third party okay i'm going to take six cards we're going to look at the current energies that your person has with you or for you we're going to look at their thoughts and also their feelings okay and we'll see what and then we will do the same for your person and the third party and we'll see where we're at all right so current energies that your person is in at the moment when it comes to you and your connection this is for pile one please spirit we have the knight of swords and the eight of pentacles all right for thoughts and feelings for thoughts we have page of pentacles and justice and for feelings we have eight of cups and three of wands okay and on the bottom of the deck we have the six of pentacles now let's look at your person and the third party and see what the situation is there. Same thing, we are going to get current energies for your person pile one towards the third party and then thoughts and then feelings. the Empress, the Two of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck is temperance all right 
Give me a second. So the overall energy will we're first going to uh, take you pile one, you and your person. And the first card out is this building blocks. Okay, this is a card number 28 that reduces to 10. And 10 is all about completion, right? So the first thing I'm feeling when I look at the overall energy of the cards that came out for you and your person is this feeling of your person wanting to build something with you. Uh, there's this feeling that I get that they uh, wants to invest in this connection. This is a situation or a relationship uh, that when we look at this uh, building block card, I get the feeling and the sense of security and foundation, okay? Uh, it almost gives me the energy of the emperor or that number four you know number fours in tower are all about that foundation and that feeling of being safe and secure and i feel that the relationship between the two of you pile one um is based on this feeling of security when it comes to one another the current energy that your person is in right now we have the knight of swords and the eight of pentacles this is this is the energy of someone who keeps thinking about how they want to invest in this relationship all right this is someone that wants to communicate and talk to you about this investment, all right? Um, what are they thinking right now? With the Page of Pentacles here and Justice, they are looking for balance. They are looking for a fairness, an equal distribution between the both of you. And that is also seen with the card that's coming up on the bottom of the deck the six of pentacles the six of pentacles is all about giving and receiving okay having that connection and that relationship where you feel that sense of balance that equality that goes on between one another okay and uh i feel that you know your person has been thinking how how at this point can they be fair to you all right so we have the page of pentacles here uh this is a young energy all right but this represents messages and oftentimes the page of pentacles can represent uh, an apology or a small gift or token something that's physical something that's concrete in this world all right, so I feel that your person has been thinking how they can come forward. What can they apologize for? Also, with the justice card here, uh, I have the feeling that there might have been some sort of situation that occurred between the both of you that warrants this apology by your person, all right? When it comes to their feelings, we have the eight of cups and the three of wands okay 
the eight of cups is about walking away all right there's a sense of walking away and with the three of wands here this is also uh someone that is i don't sometimes it, it's they're known to, as procrastinators but you know, this is the card that's when you're waiting for that right opportunity, when you're waiting for the ships to come in. Uh, it requires patience. Uh, with the Three of Wands, I also uh, often get the feeling that this is some sort of connection that is requires travel, or you know, is in a long distance, uh, something where you're not in the physical same location as each other uh, so when you look at the eight of cups uh, the eight of cups is about walking away from something on to something better something that's better for you and with the justice card here uh, I want to just get some clarification on this eight of cups and see what else uh, spirit can tell us in regards to this situation so spirit can you give me more information on this eight of cups this is for pile one please and their person the moon oops hold on oh the page of wands and the two of swords wow and let me get three more cards on this side the ten of cups the emperor and the seven of swords okay so the first thing as you know with the eight of cups here and the seven of swords uh clarifying these energies the first thing i'm feeling is yes this is uh, a missed opportunity so this is a connection that never was able to get off the ground that never was able to start um and i can tell by you know looking here again we have the moon the page of wands and the two of swords so th the moon usually you know represents you know those fears and those illusions or the doubts or the secrets so i feel that your person uh keeps their feelings for you very well hidden uh we have the page of wands here again you know um not wait not again so we had the page of pentacles and now we have the page of wands which is all about action now with these two pages i i am questioning whether your person has children or a family that they have to worry about as well uh since we have two pages that are showing up but also you know pages representing messages that action wanting to come forward wanting to talk about uh, how the current situation maybe has been left because we have the two of swords here so that is showing me that this has been a missed opportunity that there's this decision here that was not made all right and it it has to do with your person's happiness look at this it's the ten of cups it has to do with their complete fulfillment you know the 28 again reducing to 10 which is all about that completion they feel that they can have this completion with you but this is a missed opportunity due to a scenario that happened your person in order to move forward would have had to stand in this emperor power in order to make that decision that two of swords decision and i don't feel that your person uh was ready to make that so because of that they're left now at this point of feeling like they want to give to you uh equally but they're 
planning they're thinking they're they're not really moving beyond that you know they're yearning for you from afar with the two of wands here and then i see the moon and the six of cups wow and the lovers okay so secretly secretly with this moon your person keeps these feelings look we have the six of cups and the lovers here showing me that there are these deep emotional feelings for you pile one and yet they are not discussed all right they are well hidden they are a secret at this point in time and uh something that your person hasn't taken action on okay probably because of what is going on in this situation over here with the third party so i am going to move over to the third party at this point and we are going to take a look at that situation as well okay so let me just see so over here, you know, we start off with this energy, your person and the third party. There's a fork in the road here, all right? There is a fork in the road. Uh, number 13 represents the death card, all right? So someone, you know, your person and the third party, they are at a crossroads when it comes to this relationship, all right? And what I am seeing is, is this overall energy here is temperance. And this is all about someone trying to find balance. And I think for a long time, um your person was in this energy of what they thought was stable and what they thought was going to be forever we have the empress here and we have the two of cups so obviously this person really thought in the beginning that this is the person that, that they were going to spend the rest of their life with. Um, and then I have a feeling from looking at these cards uh, with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords, which we'll get to, but with this Balance card, things became eventually unstable. Uh, and you came along pile one and you basically caused this person to question everything to arrive at this fork in this road you know uh, and it has caused them to reevaluate everything which can be extremely painful as we will see when we get to the feelings the ten of swords is coming out for this person but because of that because of them having to reevaluate everything uh you know they found themselves in this position and here we have the two of swords over here as well having to make this decision having to face this decision that they are not ready to face and we have the page of pentacles over here as well so i'm really getting a strong sense of feeling that there are children involved in one or both sides that really uh hinders the connection the relationship between the both of you in being able to move forward okay for feelings the ace of swords and the ten of swords now i'm going to clarify these cards as well but i feel that since your person met you they gained this clarity that has now caused them to reevaluate 
the relationship that they've been in and it's caused them a lot of pain all right a lot of pain a lot of heartbreak and they're looking for that cycle to be over now let me just pull some clarifying cards and see if we can get anything else uh, spirit for pile one's person and the third party is there anything else you can tell me about their current situation I just keep my eyes are constantly drawn towards this temperance card and underneath the temperance card is the high priestess and the death card and the ace of pentacles and the four of wands so this is telling me that your person who they thought once was stable was not once you entered their life and we have the high priestess here and this is you know the high priestess she's all-knowing she's about following that intuition your person has gained clarity from the ace of swords that we saw and they realized that this connection between you two has completely changed them which has also altered the connection between them and the third party and it has called them to want to reach for this ace of pentacles all right uh we have the four of wands card here which is the 11 11 okay and that is all about celebration the beginning of a wonderful union so this is about the beginning i believe that your person thought that they had this in the beginning okay but that all changed once they came along and they met you and because of that your person faced a tower moment all right a tower moment and at this time i feel that your person is trying to just stand in their power when it comes to this connection uh i don't see any action yet but let me just draw some clarifying cards okay before we get to intentions but i feel that your person is right now just sort of in this stage of oh yep the nine of wands the king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles and then the world the two of wands and the fool okay and on the bottom of the deck the wheel of fortune so i believe that the connection between the two of you is faded it was destined it just happened all right and your person was not expecting it and what are they doing now they're trying to just carry on with their life in general okay they do want this new start we have the fool here all right and i see them yearning thinking of a plan all right we have the world here which is all about completion so i feel that your person has given much thought on what would happen if they were to leave this situation um but right now they're just trying to survive with this nine of wands they're just they're, this is the wounded warrior they're just trying to carry on with the king of pentacles here this person realizes that they are the provider of this situation that they're in this third party they provide the stability and the security for their family to function so to take this new start this ace of pentacles that yet they clearly want to do because we have the fool here it's all about a leap of faith right is such a huge gamble for them all right it's such a huge gamble and i feel look that with the page of pentacles there's definitely again confirming children involved in this situation okay and that's why it makes them 
have such a hard time making this choice. The feelings of love are there for you, but I don't think it's something that, you know, will they be able to get through this with the Eight of Swords and the lovers? If they come towards this Queen of Wands and choose the lovers, will they be able to get past what currently might happen with this current situation that they're in right now okay so let me put these cards back and to close out the reading i am going to get uh just one card this is from the fairy tarot to see where your person's headspace is in regards to the intentions they have regarding each connection. So let's just take a look here. So for pile one, please, spirit. And I forgot to mention, if you picked the oyster card, uh, this is a representing uh, water signs. So you or your person can be a water sign you don't have to be, but that's the energy that first appeared, which is um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And if not, your person is just feeling very emotional right now uh, when it comes to this whole third party situation and where they are right now. So here is intentions for you and your person and intentions for the third party okay so for you we have the seven of winter all right this is coming up as the seven of swords there is a better choice not seeing things clearly running away from the truth now let me just clarify that let me get, grab my clarifying deck. Just want to click quickly. I have a feeling of what that means, but I do want to clarify just to be sure. Yeah, okay, so I just wanted to and look at this on the bottom of the deck, the Four of Wands show up again, because we're talking, you know, the Four of Wands, the 1111 with the Nine of Cups. I feel that Pile One, and look, the King of Cups here too. So I feel that there's a lot of love. There's definitely a lot of love and emotion for you, Pile One. And I feel that, you know, they're not making the choice meaning you right now all right and this is the card coming up saying this you know there's a better choice they're not seeing things clearly this card is in blue which also reminds me of the throat chakra which is all about authenticity and speaking uh your truth all right and then clarifying this is the six of swords the death card and the queen of cups so we have the six of swords which is that feeling of moving on to something better all right uh they know that you're the queen of cups and they showed up here on the bottom of the deck as the king of cups again you have completely changed them all right there's this death card this transformation a part of them has died and they are not the same person anymore and it's very painful for them to go through because they always thought that they were going to be here in this comfortable life and that's not as you know that's not how the journey is going right now all right and then when we look over here the intentions okay this is the four of swords so this shows me that they're doing nothing okay set aside your concerns for now you can make a decision later solutions that come from meditation the need for more sleep or a vacation so your person really has no intentions of doing anything regarding this third party situation they're going to carry on as usual okay because they're just not ready to step up and step into that emperor power 
So pile one, that was your reading. I hope it resonated with you in some way and I will see you again soon. Bye. Hello, pile two. You picked this beautiful owl card. Okay, so this is going to be your reading uh, between your person uh, and the third party situation. Okay, so this also, just make sure here, came with moonstone. All right, this beautiful moonstone sphere. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. Hopefully it doesn't roll. Good. And what I'm going to do today, pile two, um, I'm going to do two piles. All right. So I'm going to do a pile with you and your person. And I'm also going to do a pile with your person and the, the third party, the third party situation. All right. And we'll see what's going on. Sometimes people refer to the third party as a karmic situation, especially if you feel that you are involved in a soul connection with this person. But for now, I will just call it the third party. And uh, I'm going to pull two oracle cards first to see the energy between uh, your person and you and then the third party. And then we'll get into the tarot cards. All right. So let's start out um, this is for pile two please spirit now since you picked the owl uh, in this deck the owl is displayed as air energy so you or your person can have some air in your birth chart Sun, moon, rising sun, and that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. It's just telling me the energy right now is uh, air, which is all about the mind, logics, analyzing, thinking, words. So let's get a card for how your person, what current energies they have towards you, pile one. Oh, I'm sorry, pile two. And then the third party. Okay. So this is for you, pile two. And then we have the third party. And I'm going to use two separate decks. I'm going to use the Tarot de la Noi for your side. And then the Everyday Witch for the third party. So let's take a look at the Oracle cards first, just to get an idea. So we have card number 11 here, and this is by the book. Okay. By the book. And then for your person and the third party, we have new life. Okay. Card number 39. So I just want you to take a deep breath and think of your person while I'm dealing the rest, setting the rest of the cards out. We are going to look at current energies for your person, thoughts and feelings. Okay. When it comes to them and you, and then them and the third party. have the eight of swords and the knight of swords so there's that air energy coming through wow the six of swords and the four of pentacles that's for thoughts and for feelings we have the nine of cups and the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck, the magician, all right? And then 
for your person and the third party. We're doing the same thing, looking at current energies, thoughts, and feelings. The Queen of Wands and the world, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. And then for feelings, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. And on the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords. Okay, so I am going to start with you and your person pile two first, and then we'll move on to uh, your person and the third party. So the overall the overall feeling that I'm getting when it comes to your person pile two, uh, there's a situation that occurred here and it has played out by the book. All right, this is card number 11. Uh, 11 refers to justice in tarot. So again, we're seeing that air energy of Libra coming through. Um, it's this overall feeling of trying to be fair and just, but we have so many swords here coming through. I'm trying to see your person overall. I mean, there's this situation that's going on between the two of you that they cannot get out of their heads and it's this feeling trapped and it's this the feeling that i'm getting overall is that they're struggling right now because there's some sort of rule or resistance or block that they can't get through to you uh, to communicate and it's torturing them that's that's the overall energy that i'm feeling so i'm not sure of the exact scenario uh, what went down with the two of you but this is the current energy this by the book the eight of swords this is all air energy so this is all going on in their head they're completely in their head just like the owl um, started with the air energy so we know that's where that's coming from that's confirming that for us um, as far as what they've been thinking is they're thinking of uh, the six of swords is you know about moving on moving on to something that is brighter and better and calmer for them okay and the four of pentacles is all about uh, not wanting to let go holding on tightly so your person is completely in their head when it comes to this connection i feel that there's this energy that surrounds them um that they pick up on this uh, this telepathic connection this mental connection between the both of you that they just can't seem to get away from all right and i feel that they try and yet uh all it does is bring heartache because when it comes to feelings we have the nine of cups here and i feel that this person is realizes the uh, emotional fulfillment that you bring them when it comes to this relationship. And I feel that them not being able to come forward and discuss this with you, 
So I definitely feel like there's no communication here when it comes to this uh, situation, this connection. Uh, we have the Nine of Swords here. This is causing so much anxiety for this person. A lot of sleepless nights. And then when we look at the energy on um, the bottom of the deck, the first card up was uh, the Magician. And the first thing I notice is how I mentioned, do you see how you see this energy that is around this surrounding this person that's how i feel there's this energy between the two of you all right and the magician is about wanting to manifest something new um we also have the hierophant here the ace of cups and the hanged man followed by the lovers all right so what this is telling me is uh, again, there's confirmation because uh, I feel that you, Pile 2, are also married. Uh, you know, traditionally, the Hierophant means marriage, commitment, something conventional or traditional. If, if you're not, if there's not an actual marriage, there's a very high level of commitment that's involved. All right. And we already know that that's the case with your person because you're listening to a third party reading. Um, but there's this, I think, barrier that, you know, the Hierophant is this showing me the barrier that stands in the way um, from the two of you being able to move forward. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups that follows okay the hanged man and the lovers so what this is showing me is that your person feels very deeply for you uh, you look at this lovers card and just look at the the love and the passion and the hunger that they have for each other all right and then we have the ace of cups here all right which is all about that love this is the i love you card you know feeling that love so i believe that these are very strong emotions that occur between the both of you and that you both feel them constantly. And yet we have the hanged man here, which is showing me that your person isn't taking any action to do anything uh, regarding the situation at this time. So it's as if they realize for themselves that they know how they truly feel they know where their um, emotions and their heart lies uh, they want to, to manifest this but yet I don't see any action as far as uh, them doing that now I will get a card at the end for intentions but uh, it's it's really this reading and I'm going to pull some clarifiers right now is really focused on everything that's going on inside your person's head just because of the amount of swords that we have here so here's the eight of wands that's action page of pentacles knight of cups the two of wands the three of cups and the eight of swords all right and see on the bottom of the deck we have the five of pentacles which is just showing me how much uh your person misses you all right they miss you very much they want to come forward with the page of wands here they want to take action all right but then we have the moon here and this is an extra card in the deck but it resembles like the lovers so look at that. This is the feelings that they have for you. So the feelings are there. There's no question what I feel in these cards. But with the moon here, it's all hidden. It's all it's all kept it's all kept a secret. And it could be why your person is struggling so much in their head because they have to bury this within them. I mean, they're Look, look again we have the eight of pentacles now this is a card about long distance so you two might not live anywhere near each other there's definitely some sort of distance or travel that is needed in order to connect 
And then we have the Page of Pentacles here, which is showing me that offering, wanting to come forward, wanting to give that small token, that gift, you know, followed by the Knight. And this is the Romantic Knight, you know, that wants to come forward and pour their heart and soul out. This person has constant thoughts about wanting to come forward and finally telling you how they truly feel. All right. But with the two of wands here, this just shows me they're thinking they're in the initial stages of planning. This is like the first initial steps of planning a project, the two of pentacles. And, you know, your person's just looking at this globe and looking, daydreaming, gazing out to sea and just thinking. See, again, I just feel like all they're doing is thinking. They're not really taking action. We have the Three of Cups here, which is clarifying to me that, yes, they realize what a situation that they're in regarding this third party, you know, uh, with the Eight of Swords here. It's, again, that feeling of being trapped. So uh, the Eight of Swords has come out twice here on your side, and they just feel like they cannot get past this situation. And with the Hierophant here as well, that is showing me that this is a spiritual connection. Uh, the Hierophant, that's all about a higher learning in addition to the traditional sense of the card uh, of marriage and commitment. So uh, I feel that your person has this sense that this connection, this relationship does mean something more than you know what they ever thought it would be but as of right now this person is just completely in over their head just completely in their mind so now let's switch over and take a look at your person in regards to the third party situation all right and we start out with this new life card which is a card number 39 and that reduces to 12 um, and I'm just looking at this new life and the way this woman is reaching up uh, anyway, this is card number 12, which <laughs> is the hangman. All right. And I believe the hangman I saw over on your side as well. So this is someone that's not doing anything with this whole situation in general. Um, they're kind of just in limbo. And the overall energy on the bottom of this deck that I'm seeing is the Eight of Swords. So now we have three Eight of Swords. Um, they just feel trapped. They literally feel like their hands are tied and that they are stuck in a situation where they cannot take action. Um, and because of that, there's a lot of regret and remorse, okay? And here the magician is again, looking for that manifestation, wanting something new, wanting to start something uh, fresh. Uh, when it comes to the energies that your person has for the third party, we have the queen of wands and the world. And, and this gives me a sense of yeah it's a sense of mixed feelings all right uh, i feel with the queen of wands here i feel that this person feels like they are stale in this connection all right and they've tried with the queen of wands here reviving it with some passion but you know that that loss is just there um, you know, with this new life, like they're looking to revive it, hoping that, you know, sparks will happen again. Uh, and I feel like that's the current energy of what they're trying to do. Um, 
and yet the world you know we have that end of a cycle coming this is completion of a cycle uh, I feel that you know at one time your person did feel very passionate with their third party um, counterpart uh, but since then things uh, have changed and they feel like things have just become stable uh, stale and they just feel stuck and I just don't think they have the same feelings that they once did we have the ace of swords here so that's all about gaining clarity okay gaining truth um, if you look at this witch she's all in blue which represents the throat chakra and it's all about you know being authentic and you know we have the two of wands here but what interests me is the way that the cards are laid out you have the two of wands this person you know again looking out if you could see that they're looking out you know looking at that globe but this is in the direction of you pile two so they are constantly thinking about you all right as i mentioned before with the three eight of swords that came out they can't get this connection out of their head and it's just you know been a whirlwind for them um, when it comes to feelings for this person we have the three of pentacles and the king of pentacles so what this is showing me is yes this is their current situation pentacles is earth energy you know all what's going on right now in this material world but what I'm also seeing is that your person is a provider, okay? And, you know, with the Three of Pentacles, I'm just looking like there's a family situation here. And this, you know, king, he is in control, all right? He is the provider that brings security and stability to what is going on right now. And, you know... I, a part of him feels happy with that you know because it's stable it's security I, I feel that you know this king of pentacles you know he gets to call the sh a lot of shots he kind of does his own thing um, he don't get me wrong he's uh, the king of pentacles is very understanding but I guess what I'm seeing and feeling when I hold this cards is his current situation that he has right now isn't horrible okay and i'm sorry if that triggers anyone it's safe you know and chances are a lot of people most times would rather go with the safe route than taking that leap of faith or taking that gamble despite how stale he feels inside uh now let me get some clarifying cards for this situation but the swords just stand out all over to me showing me um, how much your person thinks about what they could do how they could do things differently uh, how they can improve how their their future can be you know improve their future it, it's just all in their mind um, and they're stuck they feel like they're trapped they feel like they can't make a decision they feel like they can't make this decision to move on from this all right despite the emotions that are here for you pile two there's this love there's this deep intensity there's this connection going on with this energy that surrounds the magician um they they feel with this air energy that it's just not realistic it's not realistic the two of wands again and then we have the nine of pentacles judgment the three of pentacles again the five of swords 
and justice. Wow. On the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords. So, you know, for clarifying pile two, what I'm seeing is that, you know, your person They're here for uh, the stability and the safety, the cushion, basically. Because to uproot and have to change all this, they hear this call. Look at judgments here. They hear the call. They know. They sense what's going on here. They sense what is going on inside them. And I'm sure it's eating them up. I mean, when you have these feelings like that feeling of being pulled so you see they're being pulled to you there's this magnetic pull this energy and yet they are trying to continue with what they have right in front of them yet here's the two of wands again that just planning those in thinking 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 how 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 you know um how things would change if they were to become free all right um, and again, I'm seeing the three of pentacles. So that came out twice. And the five of swords, despite the battles and the conflict, because we have justice here, um, which is showing me that this person might not feel that what goes on in this connection uh, is always fair. Uh, and... I feel like they are dealing inside with thinking like, why does this happen to me? This is not fair because we started out over here on your side with this by the books and this is a card number 11 and we're ending over here on this side with card number 11, all right? And despite the conflict and the battle, again, it's all about teamwork and collaboration. You know, your person you know, feels that they work well with this person, okay, that there's teamwork here, that they can collaborate, you know, they can build, and um, they have this sense of, of living, you know, a stable, secure life, but with the Queen of Swords here, this person has clarity, with the hermit here, they've gone in and they've thought about this, all right? Time and time again, we have the Ace of Swords again, and we have the Eight of Swords. So it's not a matter of feeling emotional when it comes to this connection. And just to clarify, there are no... There are no cup cards that has shown up on this side whatsoever. So I feel that, you know, this is a situation that is convenient for them because to do anything else is unrealistic in their mind, unfortunately. That's, that's the energy that they're in right now. So let me just, I'm going to pull a card for each from, this is the Good Fairy uh, Tarot to see what uh, your person's intentions are when it comes to your connection and when it comes to the third party's connection. It's just a shame because pile two, your person feels so locked in at the moment. Uh, they just feel like they don't have a way out. All right. So let's see what the intentions we get for pile two, please spirit, pile two's person for intentions with them and intentions with the third party. All 
Okay. So, for pile two, you and your person, intentions are, wow, six of cups. The return of people or romances from your past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light than how they really occurred. This is six of summer, which is actually the six of cups. So, I mean, your person, uh, it's such a, sh it feels the love with you, feels that love, feels that connection, feels how deeply things are, and yet, they just feel that things are unattainable right now when it comes to the two of you. Things are just, are too hard to even try. And I'm just gonna clarify just to see if there's any other cards that come out. But as I said, uh, their love is there and Six of Cups does represent a reconciliation uh, and wanting to restart something, wanting to rekindle. So they're, you know, I have this feeling like in your person's heart, that's what they want to do. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I see, and the Three of Wands. So... Your person knows the happiness that the two of you would have and the King of Cups is clarifying for me how emotional, they, the emotions that they feel for you, but yet we have the Three of Wands here, which shows me that I don't know, I don't have um, any confidence right now that this person would step forward. Uh, I don't see a change in that happening until their energy changes within their their mind, their headspace. They're just too in over their head at the moment, you know, and this is the card about patience and waiting, yearning, longing from afar, all right? So that is that, and then the intentions regarding um, the third party. We have the Page of Swords, okay? which is trying okay seeking out an intellectual solution to your to your problem the need to act quickly and decisively sudden or unexpected changes so that is telling me that your person wants to move forward and take action and do something regarding the third party situation let me see what cards come out for that Uh, the, the Page of Swords, you know, he's very intellectual, but he's impulsive, you know, he's determined, but he can be very impulsive. So it's sort of unstable. We have the Moon mm, and the Four of Cups and the Ace of Swords. And that's, that's showing me with the Eight of Swords still underneath. See, your person has so much clarity. They really know in their heart and in their soul and in their mind how they feel, but yet they're just not ready to accept this cup. They're just too in over their head and they keep this all a secret. So I still don't think that, you know, as of right now, uh, things are going to change. I think the current situation right now is going to remain as is. So I hope this resonated with you, Pile 3. And if it did, I will see you again at the next reading. Bye. Well, hello, Pile 3. I hope everyone is doing well. You chose this rabbit for your energy and your reading, okay? So I'm going to set the card over here. And also with that, this beautiful smoky quartz sphere, okay? So let me put this down and hopefully it won't roll. Uh, stay, okay, there, good. All right, so today we're doing a third party 
uh, situation reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with two oracle cards. I want to see the energy that your person has for you, pile three, and then the energy that they have for their third party. And then we'll get into the tarot decks and we will look at current energies, uh, thoughts and feelings. Okay, we'll see what tarot says. And then at the end, I'll draw a card for intentions on, on both sides. So let's get started. Oh, before I do, let me just quick. I usually like to just do a quick uh, cleanse just to clear out any of the remnant energy from the previous reading. Okay. So while I'm setting up the cards, pile three, if you can just take a deep breath be quiet for a second, be still, think of your person. And we will take a look here. Okay, so pile three spirit. We need a card for pile three and how they feel about their person and then the third party situation, please. For you, pile three, and your person. All right, so let's take a look. So, pile three, how is your person currently feeling about you? What are their current energies? A leg up, card number 34. A leg up, and then for your person. And the third party, the fates, okay? Card number 17, which is the fates. So now I'm going to go into tarot. And we are going to take a look here. So pile three spirits. Pile three's persons current energies, thoughts, and feelings when it comes to their connection with Pile 3. Okay. And we have the Five of Wands and the Hierophant. We have the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands and the Chariot. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Wow. All right. And then let's look Pile three at your person and their third party connection. Sometimes you hear of this as the karmic connection. Just depends what you've read and what you believe in. So take it as it resonates for you. So this is for pile three's person and their thoughts, current energies, and feelings when it comes to the third party. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Empress. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Page of Swords. We have death 
and we have the five of cups on the bottom of the deck the magician all right so i'm going to start with your side pile three I feel right now with this a leg up card starting off the reading that your person right now currently feels that they don't know how to move this relationship forward. You know, you see this little polar bear and he's trying to get up and he obviously needs help. He needs to ask for help. I feel that your person is in this energy of afraid to go to someone to talk to somebody about this or to express their feelings regarding the situation. And they are literally in a place that they need help but are afraid to ask for guidance and they don't know what to do uh you know this is the card number 34 that reduces to seven and in tarot that's the chariot which we end down here which is in your cards that lay on this table so that chariot is all about forward movement, wanting to move this forward, but I feel that your person doesn't know how to do that. All right, so that's the current energy. They feel that they can't do this right now, the way the situation or the scenario has played out. Uh, when I look at their current energies towards you, we have the five of wands and the hierophant so there's definitely been some sort of conflict uh there's been you know some drama uh, especially when i look at this five of wands card you have two girls that are hugging each other because they're sad and this gentleman who has his head down in despair I feel that, you know, your person realizes that there's a heartache that's going on and the pain that he's causing between you and his uh, third party counterpart. Uh, but I'm also getting here, you know, we have the Hierophant and this traditionally means marriage or commitment something conventional going on so with this card and the way this gentleman has his head down i'm i'm wondering if there's you know if your person pile three feels like this because you are also in a commitment and they feel helpless because there is nothing that they can do either okay uh, take that how it resonates but when it comes to thoughts this person knows how happy that you make them with the nine of cups here but we also have the three of cups which is showing me how they're facing this third party situation that they have to deal with you know and you have the rabbit card here and in this card there's a rabbit showing up as well so i don't know if that the rabbit resonates with anyone um rabbits represent fear so i feel that there's just a lot of fear in this connection because neither one of you know what to do when it comes to feelings we have the Six of Wands and the Chariot, which are both cards about wanting to move forward and wanting victory and success. So your person has these feelings that they want this to work. They, they want to move forward uh, with um, 
the chariot the number seven which starts off here you know as well because 34 reduces to seven that's showing me that this is a spiritual connection okay uh, both of you know within yourselves within your intuition your inner guidance that this is very special all right and then the overall energy on the bottom of the deck that i'm seeing is the four of wands you know that's the 11 11 card that's all about wanting to reach this union and have the start of this beautiful relationship but yet the high priestess is right behind it so that tells me nobody's speaking up about this nobody's talking about it you know everything is kept quiet and yet you both know all right and in fact we have the devil that's showing up here and the ten of swords so this is causing a lot of pain all right it's something that you two both constantly think about there's this obsession here and yet nobody's taking any type of uh communication uh nobody wants to come forward there's no swords there's no um talks of communication except for the ten of swords here and this is the completion finally of a cycle but this is a painful cycle so there's a lot of pain that's going on right now uh, your person's feeling a lot of pain and you may be feeling a lot of pain all right especially if you're holding this all in and that can also be the reason why uh, your person feels like you know they they need this this help because they just they don't know what to do now we haven't gotten into the third party situation yet we will but you know just strictly looking at your side they feel helpless it's as if something's preventing them from being able to move forward with you. So let me clarify. The Fool. The Four of Cups. The Five of Wands. The Two of Wands. The Two of Swords. And the Page of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords. See, nobody's doing anything. It's all quiet. It's all quiet. Everyone's just reflecting in their own corners. Uh, you know, there's this fool here where I feel your person wants to take this leap of faith towards you, Pile 3. And yet, they're just not doing anything about it. Look, they're sitting here. They're ignoring that cup, that cup of love that you're offering them. And they're just ignoring everything. They're not doing anything. And despite the conflict that this is causing, you know, despite how they feel uh, inside and what is going on around them, there's still no action here. See, look, we both have the twos. This is all about a choice, making a decision, and th there's no decision. Nobody's stepping up here. Your person is looking out and trying to think about a plan, spending all this time gazing out to see, and yet when it comes time to step up and make that decision, your person's head is in the sand. They don't want to face the reality of what they need to do, okay? And yet we have this page of cups here where they want to come forward. They want to make this offer, but uh, I just don't think they have enough strength or enough power within them to actually take this leap, you know, to come forward and give this message. But they're very emotional. Okay, we, the emotions are here. So let's see now what is going on with your person and the third party.
All right, let me see here. So the feeling that I'm getting on this side of the story is your person, Pile 3. They were in a situation where they met this third party, you know, and they were able to create a rather stable, happy life. I mean, we have the Empress here and we have the King of Pentacles. So this is someone that your person admired very much. Uh, they had a family, they had children. Look, she's pregnant here um, and he's looking at her you know, with adoration. And he's the king of pentacles. You know, he's the happy husband. He's the um, provider. You know, he's keeping this family secure. He's protecting them. He's keeping them safe. And uh, they went on to build a life together and I'm even seeing that even though this is representing thoughts down here But what I'm seeing is you know, you have these two and then below the page of wands the page of swords There's children involved here. So this is the the happy family that has just been going on, you know, and creating that stable comfortable life uh, with one another and as time goes by, you know, something within that relationship came to an end, okay? There's the death card here. Uh, and that door seems to be shut. And now we have this new door here that's open with the light shining through. And your person is looking to go through that door, okay? And that is you pile three. But there's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of sadness and there's a lot of regret because they felt that they've had this stable situation, okay, this whole entire time. Life is good. Life is grand. And then you come along and they meet you. And that caused them to change, you know, this rebirth uh, they started to see things differently you know they started to see a different light and because of that we have the magician here where they're looking to manifest something new so they want to manifest something new but it's very hard for them right now because look we have the eight of pentacles here they've put a lot of time and investment into this relationship so for this connection over here this can be a relationship that's been going on for a very long time so it's comfortable it's safe it's secure it's what they know and yet you come in and just all these new feelings are are brought up you know, you made this person come alive with this Four of Wands card here. You know, that's an incredible feeling. And that has left them to this Two of Swords having to make that choice that they do not want to make. We have the Hermit card. So they've gone in, they're thinking about this, they're soul searching, you know, but yet they keep getting called. Look, the chariot shows up again. They keep having the feelings of being pulled towards you, okay? At, with the Page of Pentacles, but you know, it's, and the t uh, Two of Pentacles, it shows me the juggling that's going on in this person's head. 
You know, do I take this leap of faith with this new incredible love and passion, something that they feel they're being drawn to, or do I stay where I'm at, all right? I have a family, I have children, all right? This person uh, that they once saw as the empress uh, has been uh, very good at keeping their family together and organized. So this has caused a lot of anxiety for them, a lot of pain, okay? Uh, They are truly heartbroken about this. They are in a tough situation because they feel that call. We have judgment here. But yet, again, they can't bring themselves to make that decision. And I feel, you know, with we have the tower card here i think that's going to happen regardless you know usually when the tower comes into play when we see the tower that's the universe that's spirit intervening so the universe may cause a tower moment if your person is in this limbo state and they're not making a decision all right because you can't stay in this limbo state forever. You have to be able to step forward and you have to, you know, make a choice. You have to make a choice. Let me see what else I can get, what else I can clarify from this. The Three of Wands the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords the Tower again and the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck look at this the Eight of Cups so your person I mean the Eight of Cups is here there they think about walking away from this Um, with the three of wands you know they're just waiting but they're still not doing anything you know they're just looking out to see they're waiting for that right opportunity because they want this ace of pentacles they do and they don't feel like they want to sneak around anymore and they feel that if they don't take this ace of pentacles it's going to be a missed opportunity all right but i feel like there's this battle coming up you know with the five of um i'm sorry with the knight of swords here and the tower like this impulsive behavior something's got to give so something is going to happen at some point all right to wake your person up to break them out of this uh meditative relaxation state and actually have them make a choice, okay? You know, with this Eight of Cups, are they going to follow their heart, their emotions to this Ten of Pentacles, all right? Because they know what's going to bring them happiness here. We have the Lover's card. They know the choice that they need to make. We saw that in your pile, but it's just that they have to get over this, uh, feeling of regret and remorse and you know stand up and be authentic you know be authentic enough to make this decision so let me i'm going to get a card for each pile from the fairy tarot to see what your person's intentions are when it comes to each to each connection and and see what we can get from from there so pile three please spirit what is their person's intentions towards them
And then what is their intentions towards the third party? Let's see. For you, pile three, this is the two of wands, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams, great progress being made. So again, it's this, the wheels are turning, the initial steps all right, so planning. And then for the third party, this is the King of Cups, a romantic partner you can trust, excellent advice that comes from the heart, getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. So let me just take a look. So your person, pile three, they have the clarity with this king of swords here and they know the truth, all right? Here's the fool again, wanting to take this leap of faith in order, in order to get to their true happiness. They realize that that is what needs to be done. Look, we have the ace of swords here again, showing me the truth and the clarity that this person has. And yet, I feel with the Six of Cups and the Sun here, okay, and the King of Cups, they feel that if they were to walk away from this situation that they're currently in right now, it would be devastating to the third party. And your person is... Uh, The feelings that I get is that your person has a deep heart and the last thing that they want to do is hurt the person that they thought they were once fated to be with, all right? And even though that's changed now, they still can't see themselves walking away and taking this sunshine away from this situation right here okay um the rabbit is earth energy and you know we saw the king of pentacles here so it's all about earth energy so i'm not sure if one of you uh you know is a taurus virgo capricorn where this is just the energy right now of the reading, but that's all about grounding and being stable and having that security. And I just don't think your person is ready to have this crumble right now. Spirit may have to step in. So pile three, that was your reading. I hope it resonated with you in some way and I will see you again soon. Bye.